Hey what's up guys this is Narendra and in this video we are going to simply create a react uploader where we can uh, we'll be creating a react uploader component for the single file upload as well as a multiple file upload and also a drop zone up component in order to upload our files on the server using react js and for that we have created in my previous video series that was express multer and from in that we have created two apis to upload single files as well as multiple files on the server so now we are going to go and create a react.js application and if you haven't gone through that video series you can just go through if you are interested in server side otherwise you can just clone that repository from the link mentioned below in the description and you can spin it up on the server locally on your system using that but the prerequisite is that you have to you must have node.js installed and if you haven't installed then you can go through the node.js.org and you can get the latest package for your system so with that all set let's go and get started with our react project so currently i'm in my uploader project and this has a couple of things so if i ls you can see this react uploader is already there i'm not gonna touch that and this was by testing code this is uploader view which you can find the view series which i have also pushed in the another another and this one is react uh, uh, angular uploader so this will be creating later after this video after this series we are going to you create the same project in angular also but for now we'll start working with our react application so for that you have to create a basic scaffolding of a react.js application and you can do that by simply saying npm uh, npx create react app and after that you just have to name the name uh, name the name of the project so it will be react uploader and this might take a moment and once it is done i'm going to pause this video and once it is done we'll be right back so now once we are done with our basic scaffolding of a react application by cre using create react command create react app command you via npx we can see that our it is asking us to go into that folder and then run this npm start command so before doing all that i'm going to quickly clear my screen and if i ls you can see this directory has been created and which contains our whole react application which we're going to work on so this is a basic scaffolding nothing too much inside and let me get into that so i'm going to get here ls and these are the basic package contents of our react application so I'm going to open up this in Visual Studio Code. You are free to use Atom or Sublime Text or even PyCharm or whatever the text editor you are comfortable with. But I prefer Visual Studio Code because it has a lot of accessibility features. And before starting anything, if you haven't installed this plugin called ES7 React Redux GraphQL React Native Snippets, just go ahead and install. This will help you a lot. I have already installed it, so you can find uh, you will find a lot of things are working on my way so let me quickly run this script npm run start actually it will be simply start so it will start up our react applications local development server and running on the local for 3000 so this might take a moment to compile the code and it will automatically open it up for us And this is a basic scaffolding of a react application so the basic react application would look something like this so now it's time to go ahead and do some cleanup in our application before starting and I'm gonna get rid of this app.css file also index.css file and then I'm gonna get rid of logo this test file is not required for now and I think we are done and now you might find a lot of errors are going on if you check the console we'll find a lot of errors and this is because we are we have removed some files which were dependent on that and let me quickly go to my settings I don't know why my index.js file doesn't format my react code so for just for the index.js file I'm gonna disable my uh, formatting on save option so let me quickly go into this part instead of this bringing from react.strict and I'm gonna import a strict as you can see we are getting squiggly lines that means there's something wrong with our code so I'm gonna bring it 
script script from there actually it will be script mode not script and as I save it it works fine and from this our app.j I will be using jsx file format and this index.css file is, does, is no longer existing in that so we are just going to get rid of that too and once we are done with that now we'll go to our app.js and before we do that I'm going to rename it to app.js from js to jsx and inside that inside that I'm going to get rid of these two imports which we have already predefined and I'm going to create into a ES7 base arrow function and that's that's basically now that's fine I'm also going to get rid of this logo and let's see how it works and let's save it for now and now you can see our whole react application is there with basic minimalistic no styling actually at all so now it's time to let me get rid of this part too I just don't want a header there and I'm gonna say h3 or h1 hello world so this is our hello world and as I save it you can see in my browser that hello world is printed with no styling inside that so now oh, for the styling I'm gonna use bootstrap and for the components I'm gonna use react strap library which you can access from for the documentation reactstrap.github.io and also this bootstrap so installation is pretty simple and I don't want to go and installing jQuery or something like that because I really hate that uh, so I'm gonna install react strap as well as a bootstrap so npm install bootstrap as well as react strap and I also want to write my CSS in my in SCSS format, so I I need to install Node SAS, and this might take a moment to install all the packages. Let me quickly increase the font size so that you can also see. And we install Bootstrap as well as React Strap and Node SAS. So this is going to add these three packages in our package.json file. And let me quickly go to my settings. I don't want to close this part because all we need for now is to work in this index.js file and after that once we are done later other things will be handled by our react snippets and everything is done so now I'm gonna import I'm gonna create a new folder inside that src and the name of the folder will be our assets and within that I'm gonna also create a new folder new file in a folder called scss main.scss okay so this folder is, is this file is living within our assets scss and I think I typed in caps so now that's fine and I'm going to import our bootstrap library first of all. So import bootstrap to up, free up, and from our node modules, we'll look for the bootstrap. And from SAS, I'm going to bring in my SAS. So later we can configure the variables of our application. And now we have to import this in our index.js. So first of all, I'm going to say import. From, from the same directory go to assets go to SAS and from that I'm looking for main.scss file and I like to format my code that's fine for us you can if you don't want to do that that's fine too so let me quickly show how react basically works on the under the hood so basically what is happening behind the scene is we have a, something called webpack which is running and compiling our, our all the file codes in the SAS as well as the assets whatever we have and that is compiling and then that is inserted injected to this our root application index.html index file that we have over here so what is happening behind the scene is uh, that this root main root app element 
the uh, div with the ID of root data is being grabbed from there. And then in our index.js whole React application is mounted within that root div. So that's how it works on the backend side. Uh, on the other hand side, so I'm gonna quickly rename this also React Uploader. And now let's close this. And that's it for our index.js. And as we have imported our main.sas file, which is already importing our bootstrap, now we should see our bootstrap styling is now got kicked into the place. So now this, this hello world has now standard bootstrap styling. And now it's time to go ahead and configure the variables of our color, like theming colors. So I'm gonna go above this line and from our node modules, We'll look for our bootstrap.js uh, bootstrap bootstrap folder so basically bootstrap is over here yes and within that says we'll look for the file called variables so that is underscore variables inside that I'm gonna copy this whole thing from there and that will override our standard bootstrap configuration means so that we can use it in our application and let me close this and above this import statement just paste that there so this is our primary color for our app and let me close this index.js and start formatting my code again and let's save it for now and you can see this is formatting my app.jsx files very efficiently so as I do this Nothing changed, but if I go ahead and give it a class, and basically in React we don't use class primary, and if I do this, this will be our standard blue color that we have. So for the coloring, I'm gonna go to my favorite site that's called HTML Color Codes, and also I use this picker. I think this has already my color that we have. Yeah, this color so I can get this react hex code from here I have copied this color using this tool from uh, from a picture so basically uh, let me quickly decrease my console so that you can see everything properly and now we'll go to our main.sas file and here I'm gonna replace it to whatever the standard color that react uses for the blue I love to do that theming part and as I do this now you can see this hello world is in our standard primary blue color meanwhile I also want to change something inside the body so basically I'm gonna change the body background color and that I'll pick it from HTML color code site and this is my favorite color that I'm gonna use it over here and that would be important so everything will be looking nice and fancy um, actually this will be not hash this will be important and as I do this now our background has been changed to this color whatever we have picked from there so with that all set now it's time to go ahead and start putting our navbar so I like to follow a structure so I'm gonna say components create a directory inside our root and within that I'm gonna create a folder called layouts Layouts. Oops, sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me. Inside layouts, I'm gonna create a new file called uploaders. Uploaders.jsx and not JSC, it will be JSX. And I'm gonna create a basic scaffolding for our React application, so RFA. And if I press tab, you can see we have our new component that has been created. So instead of uploaders, in our layouts, actually I made it wrong. So in our components, I'm gonna create another folder called uploader. And I'm gonna put my uploader here. And in our layouts, I'm gonna create two components basically. So this will be saying layout.jsx. And in this RFA, RFA, I press tab, we get the layout, but I'm not gonna say, say it as layout. 
will be our standard nav bar. And then also I'm also gonna bring another one. So RFA, and this time I'm just gonna get rid of this import statement and this will be our footer component. So this is our footer, this is our nav bar, and we are gonna bring it from there to our main app file, app.gsx file. So since these are imports to exporting not default from there, we have to restructure and bring them one by one. So we'll get into the components and in our layouts, we'll look for our layout file. So from that, as I do this, now if I write N, you can see that has been already pulled in from there. And then we have a footer, okay? And now this will say wrapper, something you can call it. And this wrapper, up from that, I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna extract that here, wrapper, and give it a height of 100% or 100VH, that will be important. And width will be, that's fine for us, width is fine. And now if I go and give it a background color, so background color, and I'm gonna use my primary variable for now. So I'm gonna use blue that we have. And as I do this, now whole page turn, uh, is turned into the this blue part. So instead of this, I'm gonna get rid of this line. And in here, in our app.jsx, I'm gonna give it a class of bflex. So basically we are going to use a lot of uh, uh, that thing, what do we say? Do uh, a flex boxes in here? Then you have a justify content content, and that will be around or actually between. So basically, all the you can always look for that. And as I do this, and before writing this hello world here. I'm gonna write my navbar component, which is currently doing nothing, just sitting there, and we have a footer component. So I have used these components, and now they are rendering out there. Justify between, actually this will be flex row, actually column, so as I do this flex column, now you can see this is in the center. Here we have a navbar section, but we cannot see them. If I go to my layouts, I'm just gonna write h2, this is navbar. And here I'm gonna say h2, this is footer. And if I save it, now you can see these two are sitting on the top and the bottom. And that's how it looks. So instead of that, uh, once we are done with this, I'm gonna go ahead from here, from the navbar, I'm gonna create a new file, a uh, new file not actually, I'm gonna create a navbar, so from the bootstrap documentation, and since we have already brought in the bootstrap main standard set, so we can also use a lot of div, styling, column, and everything, whatever we get into the standard bootstrap, we can use it from there. So let me look for the navbar, and from here, I'm gonna get a standard navbar, that won't contain much inside, but I'll, I won't make it heavier. So I'm just gonna copy this part, gonna paste it, and instead of this class name, I can select them all at once. And as I do this, you can see this, we are getting squiggly lines there. And let me rename it to React Uploader. You can put whatever styling, just this is not a very styling course. And I want a dark one, so I'm gonna give it a dark, navbar dark, and not a, this BG one, BG dark. So if I go ahead and now you look into this, we have a React uploader. But in my mains as also I just wanna put some kind of little bit of styling. So this is basically, we are handling this, our nav tag. So I'm gonna extract that from there by element and border bottom. That will be five pixels solid dollar blue. So whatever we have our primary color that will come there. And now you can see this standard nav bar is now created. Or oh, let me make it 10 pixels, let's see how it works. Yeah, that's way too 
much white pixels. Now in our footer component, I also want to go and write our footer component. So basically I'm going to let's say, make it class name. I'll give it a class of dflex. And within that deep flex, I'm going to say, let's say, justify content. Center. So whatever we have, it, we sh that should be in the center. I'm also going to give this a class name of text white. And this whole footer will be having of uh, BG primary. And as I save it, let's see how it looks. And now this is our footer which is created and instead of that let me make this footer element so we can directly use our footer elements there and this is this looks way too much so I'm gonna make it h4 and now save it this looks nice but we need some kind of margin from the top so let's say mt2 will be just work fine and this looks nice so I'm gonna put my branding basically here. Sorry about that, but I do. So we'll simply say cool book ink and copy. Then we'll give the year. So for the year, I'm gonna say date new date dot now. Actually, not this one. Not get full year function. So this will be giving me the full year function. And as I save it, now you can see we have 2020 there. And then also I'm gonna give the space. So for that, and the SP tag, I'm gonna use it. So this is some space between this thing, and this looks nice. What else I'm gonna do on the con on the other hand side? I'm also gonna extract this footer from there. And let me copy this element. I'm gonna grab this footer and I'll give it a border top. And that will be again five pixels solid. And that will be our dark color that we have. So let me make it, I think, dark color. Or let's make it, let's use the RGB value. So RGBA and I'm gonna give it some kind of opacity 0 comma 0 comma 0 and let's give an opacity of 8 alpha values and now you can see our border is there this looks quite nice so now we are gonna start working with our container whatever we have inside so for that in our app.jsx file instead of this h3 I'm gonna give that div with a class container and within that container I'm gonna give it a let me show I'm gonna give it a class of flex grow one so whatever the space is left that will be taken by this our whole container so if I write here bg success and as I save, now you can see this whole container is now, and then take, the whole space has been taken care by that thing. So I know this is very primitive thing. Now let's go and get started with our uploader component. So in the next video, we'll start looking into our uploader component, how we can create that. So stay tuned with my channel, and in the next video, we'll start catching up with our form and then hooking it with the using hooks react hooks and hook it with the apis but before going to anything i'm going to install another package called axios to make our make our api request you can use whatever you want like fetch or something other or something else if you want to use you can just go ahead and do that so i'll see you in the see you guys in the next video when this axios is installed thank you guys